Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a very, I'm going to say a very powerful vision that the Lord gave me on the 15th of December, 2019. And when I came out of this vision, all I could say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, again, you know, for this history. So I'm going to jump straight into the vision. In this vision, brothers and sisters, I found myself at a place. I don't know where I was at the time. Okay, I know where I am. I'm going to tell you where I am. But the time when I was looking, I wasn't sure where I was. And as I was looking, I was above the trees. So I was suspended just above the trees. And I saw this road, this very, very, very long road, as long as my eyes could take me. And this road was made out of clay. It wasn't tarmac like what we've got in Europe or anything like that, you know. Um, it, was, it was just pure, brownie, red clay uh, on this ground. And as I began to look, <clears throat> because it was clay... Sorry, I thought to myself, oh, I must be in Jamaica, somewhere, somewhere in the Caribbean. Because, side note, when I was a little girl growing up uh, in Jamaica, we have, where I lived, we had loads of clay. And we used to play in the clay. And brothers and sisters, you know, now in 2019 and before, <laughs> some people, we just don't know what we have. Because when I used to play in this clay, brothers and sisters, when I was little uh, with my friends and my brothers and all of that, and we used to play in this clay, mud all over us. When we wash, when we go to have our baths and shower, and we wash ourselves off from this mud, oh, brothers and sisters, I am telling you, our skin was glistening. Like it was so smooth. It was so beautiful from this mud clay, but we didn't know what it was, you know. Our parents used to say, don't play in the mud, don't play in the mud, look at your clothes, they're so dirty and all of that. But we did not know the beauty of the clay. Now in these shops, when I go into these supermarkets and I see facial clay, mud bath, clay for your eyes uh, to help with baggage, clay for your skin... And I just thought, oh my word, this is what we had well in Jamaica. This is what we had in Jamaica. Clay, proper, authentic, natural soil clay that we used to play with, that I used to play with as a child. And, and when I played it, as I said, my skin was beautiful. You wash it off and it was just so clean, glistening and shiny. But that just took me back in the vision <clears throat> when I saw this long road, beautiful clay. And as I began to look, I realized I was not in Jamaica or the Caribbean. So I began to question and I said, Lord, because I was by myself and I, um, there was somebody there with me. But um, I began to question <clears throat> and I said, Lord, where am I? And God began to speak. The Holy Spirit, the Ruah, the set-apart spirit, began to speak. And he said, you are in Congo, Africa. And I was like, Oof, okay, right? So I began to observe. Just began to observe. And as I was observing this long road, my eyes just began to come down closer and closer and closer and closer. Then I began to hear sounds, people speaking. And I'm thinking, where is this sound coming from? And I heard chairs like, yeah, clapping, cheering, just this joyous noise, fireworks going off, brothers and sisters. So I began, I'm thinking, what in the world, what celebration is this? So fireworks begin to go off. And people were just celebrating. They were clapping. They were hugging each other. Because my eyes now was on these people. Brothers and sisters, when I look with the Holy Spirit 
bought my eyes and I began to look and I saw the reason why these people are celebrating. They were celebrating, man. They have dug. I saw the clay dug up. And when the Holy Spirit showed me, brothers and sisters, it was pure, solid gold. These people found in, in Congo, Africa, in Congo, Africa, in the vision, these people found a pot of gold, like a field filled with gold. There was, yeah, you would celebrate, wouldn't you? If you find a, a field filled with gold and they were celebrating. And when I looked, I saw, and this is nothing to do with racism. So please do not come and say I'm racist because I'm just giving the vision as it is. I'm not making stories up. I saw Indians, men and women celebrating i saw chinese men and women celebrating and i saw white people men and women celebrating for the gold that they that they found in congo i began to question god and i said lord okay i'm confused i'm in congo africa these people have found a pot of gold. Where are the Congolese? Where are the black people? Where are they? Because they're not there. They wasn't there. They, didn't, they did not find any gold. These other nations dug, came in the country, dug it up, and they found the gold. Brothers and sisters, when I began to question God about this, in line, this is what I saw in line. I saw, uh, not the word, but I saw the earth and it began to shake like a huge earthquake. Then beside that, I saw tsunami. I saw the sea rising. Then I saw like hurricanes and all sorts. So those are the three main things that I saw. And I also saw war, I saw men with guns, like soldiers with guns which I know these are, this is war. So this is when I began to ask the Holy Spirit. I said, where are the Congolese people? Where are the, where are the Congo people to celebrate in the goal? Because they weren't there. And that's when the Lord just showed me all these disasters lined up. And he began to speak and he said, I am going to punish the nations with these disasters that, that I saw in the vision and brothers and sisters in my spirit i can tell you that god was not happy he was not happy that these nations went into africa and found the gold for themselves he wasn't happy i can tell you that for a fact because it was very it, it impressed that on my heart not to the full extent obviously i'm not i will never ever the lord will never ever uh, impress all his anger on his children he won't do that but what he will do he'll let you uh taste a little bit of how he feels okay he will let you taste a little bit of how he feels and i am telling you that the lord was not happy with what was going on in congo now when i came out the vision obviously there are stories you know, we can't deny this, all right? There are stories that other nations went into Africa and found gold. They even made movie in Hollywood about it. Blood diamonds and this and that and what a view. So we know that it's truth that they, these other nations goes into Africa and rape the country and take what, what is not theirs. But in this vision, I think... It could be recent. The reason why I say that, because of the fireworks. Because I don't know if in ancient time they had fireworks. You know, I'm not sure. But it could be recent or it could be gold. There is gold in Congo, somewhere in Congo, that these other nations may know about. And they're planning to go down there to get it for themselves and leave the poor Congolese people. To, to struggle and this is what the Lord is upset about because it's theft 
It's not, it is theft. It's not your country. You shouldn't be going down to dig up. That is not yours. And this is why I saw the earthquake, the tsunami, the hurricane, the war lined up for these nations that I've talked about. Brothers and sisters, I am telling you. I am telling you what the Lord showed me. And um, it was a very powerful vision. Like I say, for me, I think this is recent or is something that's going to happen. And you're going to know about it. They're going to hear, ooh, we found a pot of gold or there's gold in Congo. But definitely the Lord told me the country, it was Congo in Africa. Um, so, you know, it's a hard one, but I have to come and I have to say it as it is. You know, I have to say it as it is. I'm not, you know, the Lord is teaching me bit by bit about Africa because to be honest with you, I, Africa, Africa, that country, that continent has been so tainted that it's been so tainted that the word has become distasteful in some of us mouth. And I can speak that because I know what I'm saying. Don't want to go into too much detail, but I know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. And God is going to correct that. God is going to, for those of, and I put us because I used to be like that. Not anymore. Not anymore. I've got a heart for Africa. I have a heart for Africa. And I, and, and, and I went into prayer and I said, Lord, I want to reach the African people. I want to reach them so that they know. And I'm so glad. I am so glad. I'm so glad that God gave me those visions about Passion Java and Bushiri. You know, I, I was so pleased that he gave because because of the, those two visions, brothers and sisters, I've come in contact with some beautiful African brothers and sisters. I am telling you. So I am so grateful to God for those visions that he reached some brothers and sisters in Africa. But my perception and the truth about Africa is strained because we've all been brainwashed about Africa and what it is and all of that. It, it is so deep. I'm not even going to go in it. But God is going to correct the wrong that has been done in that country because it's down there the Messiah was. It's not the Middle East. That's another story. But we know that it's Africa, right? It all begun. Civilization begun in Africa. So why would God turn his back on that country? He's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. But, <clears throat> you know, Congo, it's amazing. It, it's really amazing that God showed me that specific country. And he called the name. He said, you are in Congo. Africa told me very, very plainly, very, very plainly. So something is brewing, something I don't know. We just have to keep watch like with all the rest of the prophecies and see the next move of the Lord for Africa. Don't give up on Africa. Don't wipe Africa out of your hearts because of don't do it. Don't do it. I am telling you, do not do it because God is going to do some corrections for all that's done to that country and the land i'm going to do a video at some point about africa the continent africa i'm going to do a video about that and i'm going to do a video about the power of the clay you know the clay that i saw i'm going to do a very prophetic video concerning the power of the clay so god eternally bless you I love you all and I'll see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.